Hi everyone. So something a little different today, not orchids. Uh, this is my um, hydroponic grow space, which is hidden in the cupboard. So it does look slightly dodgy, should I ever be raided. I will have some explaining to do. But I am growing, I did hydroponic chilies and hydroponic basil, um, which was a great success. And I've refreshed and I'm currently doing hydroponic strawberries. So this is just a quick rundown of me refreshing my GT205 nutrient flow uh, hydroponic setup. So this is fresh, clean water. I'm just using tap water. I have used rain water and I found it made little difference. Obviously the PPM, the parts per million is slightly higher in this and it contains chlorine, but I haven't found that chilies or strawberries really mind. Uh, obviously for my orchids and kind of rose plants, I use rain water. So you see the pump is currently bubbling away. This attaches to a uh, fixing that is, does the stream of water, which I'll show in a second. So this is the max water line there. So that's about 20 litres, so there's about 19 and a half litres in here, I think 19 litres, something like that. I've got a 10 litre bucket and it wasn't quite full both times. So, And then if you can see down there, the little lip is the minimum line. Um, so the water does evaporate and transpire as it's taken up by the plants. Um, but I refresh roughly every two weeks with fresh nutrients and uh, doesn't get quite that low. So it's fresh clean water, I've rinsed the the uh, nutrient reservoir which is this out and just running the pump um, which I'll stop and I'm going to mix in some silicon for stronger growth and some hydroponic nutrients and then put everything back together again. So the first thing to do is check what my baseline water is. So this is a pH measuring pen um, placed in the reservoir and it should be about 7. I've done this before, it's always been about 7. So 7.1, 7, 7.1, 7 let's go with 7.1. So pH is a logarithmic scale, uh, 14 being very very alkaline, 1 being very very acidic. 7 obviously is bang in the middle, so perfectly neutral water is 7. So my fresh, lovely Worcestershire water, 7.1. Okay, next test of the tap water to get a baseline before you put nutrients in it is to test the parts per million. So this is everything that's in the water that isn't pure H2O. So annoyingly, because I live in a less hard water area, 285. I was hoping it would be a little bit less than that. So this explains why I don't give it to orchids or carnivorous plants, which need a PPM below 50, below 100, yeah, depending on what they are. 285. Less than brilliant. Okay. Now it's time to add some silicon. So this is my liquid silicon. Um, it is very strongly alkaline. So you add this before the nutrients, otherwise it'll precipitate the nutrients out of the mixture. So we know the pH was 7. It says for hard water it's about 1 mil uh, per 2 litres. So as I said, about 20 litres, so it's about 10 mil. This is my measuring syringe. And uh, yeah, so I have to put this in a small container, not get my fingers or the carpet, and uh, add it to my nutrient reservoir and we're back so just under 10 mil um, should do for now so this is this is liquid silicon which as I said is very highly alkaline so I'm going to add it to the nutrient reservoir suck some back up into the thing I'm just going to put the camera down for a second so the pH should now be Stir it in, significantly higher than it was. There you go, nine point something already. A bit more of a stir. 9 .1. 9.1. 9.0. There you go, so when doing hydroponics, always add the silicon first, because if you add the nutrients in the silicon, you'll get a white cloudy snot-like mixture, which is the nutrients precipitating out. 
So pH of 9.1. So the next step is to drop this back down to 7 and then add the nutrients. 9.0, okay. So for that, we're going to add some pH down, which is phosphoric acid, to counteract the alkaline effects of the liquid silicon. I'm just going to put the camera down, because again, I need two hands for this. So I added literally a few drops of the uh, pH down, and we're down from 9 to 8, 8.1, 8.2. Just giving it a stir. We might not be far off, actually. 7.6. Keep stirring. 7.1, 7.2. Blimey, I was on the money, I think. Keep giving it a stir. I really don't want to add much more. 7.5. Okay, right. And that's stabilised at about 7.5. Uh, okay, one one drop more. There we go. So literally one drop more of acid. pH down. We're down to 7.1 again. 7.2, 7.0, 7 7.1. So that's probably close to where we were before. Right. Now it's time to add the nutrients. That's my all-purpose hydroponic nutrient and my measuring cup. And I know I need about that much nutrient in the tank. So there we go. Right, let's add the nutrients. Give it a stir. So the pH we want it should adjust the pH is one of the things that that nutrient does. So you want it lower than seven, somewhere between five point eight and six point some six point something six point six something like that. So what are we looking at now? Six point two, six point three. That should be about right. It's an optimum pH for growing. 6.2, 6.3. Yeah, I'll take that. We go back and check the P, uh, ppm. So now the nutrient salts have been added. The ppm should be much higher. So that's times ten. So it's a thousand and thirty. So it's slightly higher than last time when I had seedlings. It was about seven, eight hundred. No, it was more than that. About eight hundred and fifty for the very small seedlings, but now you'll see the plants in a minute. At least one of them is slowly putting out big roots, so I'm increasing the nutrient because strawberries like quite a high nutrient level, 1,030, brilliant. Now it's time to uh, put the pump back together and we add the plants. And there we go. So I probably should have done an introductory video to putting these together, but these are rock wall cubes. Um, Strawberries growing in, obviously three different stages. There's holes already in the top um, for when I grew chilies, so I kind of rather than getting any top, I just adapted it. And obviously in a row, if you sort of fold this back, you can see the pump there, pumping out the nutrient-rich water, running down, flowing across the roots of the, uh, the strawberry plant. That's the spreader mat underneath to make sure all the water is even, and you can see where the nutrient stained it. Get me one of those as well. So yeah, these have grown. Uh, certainly those two, which are obviously the newer, um, the older two, have grown spectacularly since they were put in hydroponics from just pure rock wool. That one's obviously just starting off, and I've got a couple more ready to go with some other various bits and pieces that's ready to go outside. And there you go. That's my GT205 Nutrient Flow Hydroponic Setup for Strawberries. So I should probably do an updated video. Uh, in a month or two when hopefully I'll have fruit. <laughs>